Testimony is underway in a lawsuit against Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo. Two businessmen claim he used his seat to shut down their restaurant and bar, costing them millions. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live with this long simmering feud. Glenna. Christy, you're talking about Ball and Chain on Calle Ocho. That's probably the most well-known of several properties that these owners allege Joe Carollo, the commissioner, was targeting. Today, the former Miami city manager was first on the stand, and he told the jury they're right. Away from the commissioner entering court to face the first witness. For 11 a.m. That's Miami's former city manager. The jury learned about his military and national security past, trusted county and then city administrator, who as boss of Miami's operations and staff, got along well with Commissioner Joe Carollo until... The ball and chain controversy, the signs that the commissioner was targeting, his words, that and its owners' other business properties along Calle Ocho. A midnight tour of grievances, requests for code and police inspections. City staffers, Gonzalez told the jury, were afraid not to comply with a powerful commissioner. Stuff that I'll bring up will speak for itself. The jury saw this clip of a 2019 meeting soon after the lawsuit was filed, where Carollo defended his position that property owners, Bill Fuller and Martin Pinillo were skirting codes. That meeting devolved. I don't appreciate here, as we're uh, going around me. in circles here Please when you can just ask no. a specific question and I'll give you I a specific am, uh, answer. Right. The city manager would cite that kind of circus and politics of personal destruction as the reason for his resignation. Today on the stand, he appeared to have no eye contact with his former commissioner. Some of Miami's former top administrators are on the witness list. The jury will hear from them next week, which is when this case continues. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Fort Lauderdale today, Local 10 News.